Welcome back to the Hobo Mario Show. Today, I will be reviewing the inferior Sega Mega Drive. Oh yes, I know many of you love the Sega Mega Drive, but I can assure you, it's rubbish. What most people don't seem to realise is that the entire library of Sega Mega Drive games are built into the system itself. The only purpose of the cartridge is to select that game. You don't believe me? Well, I'll explain. Here's some science. Once the cartridge is inserted, you'll notice on the bottom side of the cartridge there are these pins. When these pins are exposed to heat, the appropriate pin for that game will pop out and push a small button inside the Sega Mega Drive. This causes the unit to boot that game. The Sega Mega Drive pins will only pop out of the cartridge when they are subjected to heat. Uh, so, I could easily demonstrate this by putting the game into this toaster, like so. But I don't need to, because I've done it before. But I strongly suggest you try this at home, it's fascinating. The Sega Mega Drive had a controller with three primary buttons. This one also features a start button for pausing the game. The buttons are what determine the power of a console. For example, the Nintendo 64 has many more buttons than the Sega Mega Drive pad. That is why it is vastly more powerful than the Sega Mega Drive. If I was able to put my Nintendo 64 controller into the control port of the Sega Mega Drive, it would completely upgrade its power. But alas, they made it a completely different shape. The Sega Mega Drive features both an on and an off switch, which was completely unheard of at the time. It is a little known fact that the word Sega comes from the Japanese word for Nazi, and Mega Drive it was actually Russian for Mega Drive. Unknown to most, the Mega Drive actually started out its uh, life as a telephone, hence the uh, word phones volume here, for which by you can turn the volume of your telephone receiver up or down. The handset I believe plugged in this little jack here. I hope you enjoyed this uh, informative video about the Sega Mega Drive and uh, like and subscribe. I don't really care if you do, but please do and send me lots of money. So uh, I will probably uh, not spend it on these videos, but I would like some money anyway.